Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into a hot topic that is becoming more and more important these days. Yes, I am talking about prompt engineering. We'll explore what it is and why learning it can seriously level up the way we use AI tools. So whether we are generating images, writing up our code or just experimenting with AI in our daily workflow, one thing is clear and that is the quality of your result completely depends on how you ask for them. So we'll start what actually the prompt engineering is. So it is the art of communicating with the AI to get the exact output we want. Think of it as like talking to a genius, but the way we ask question changes everything. We'll discuss this with the help of an example. For this, let me open up my chat GPT. Here you can see I have two prompts. One is look simpler and other one is a bit instruction based, right? So chat GPT open, let me copy this prompt, paste it over here. Let's wait for a few seconds to generate the output. Okay, it's generating. So my question is write a written for me about data analyst. So it comes up with this output and this is the answer, right? Now let me copy other prompt. Let's wait for a few seconds while it generates the output. Okay, while it's generating, let's review what the prompt we pass. So imagine you are interviewing someone for a senior data analyst role. What are two to three data analyst style questions you would ask to test their logical thinking and data interpretation skill? So it comes up with this riddle one. It comes, this is the riddle, and here it gives what it is testing: problem solving understanding of data structure and algorithm thinking then we have riddle 2 this is my riddle here it gives the hint for me and what it is testing again the riddle 3 and what it is testing so you can see the difference between the output generated with this prompt and the prompt which i passed earlier right so we can see that value structure prompt can enhance our result up to 80%. We can get up to 80% of better result just by passing a good prompt. Now we will discuss the elements of prompt. So prompt contains four elements that is the role, task, instruction and output format. Let's discuss this with the help of example. So here I have one prompt. You are a financial analyst, analyze Tesla's Q1 2025 earnings and write a three paragraph summary in simple language for my website blog. So in this we can see that first what I did, I assigned my AI a role that is you are a financial analyst. Then I told him the task that you have to analyze Tesla's Q1 2025 earnings and I gave him instruction that I want a three paragraph summary in simple language and the output format should be like which is good for my website blog right so i can this output format can be varies anything can be very but output format is the major one say if i want this as a kind of an image thing so this can be different if i want this for my linkedin post then this can be different right so now we will discuss types of prompt basically there are four types of prompt the first one is instruction prompt few short prompts then we have chain of thought prompts and this reflection prompt. Now we'll discuss them one by one with the help of example. The first one is instruction prompt. This is simple and direct. We'll just pass input and we are just expecting output. So this is we generate generally used by small businesses to generate marketing tips or to generate blogs. Next we have few short prompts. In this, we initially show some of the examples through which AI will learn and then it generates the output. The third type of prompt is chain of thought prompt. In this, we generally ask the AI to give the solution, breaking them, with, breaking them down with a step by a step. So for example, if I just pass any math problem and I want a step by step solution for that, so I'll ask AI that hey solve this problem and give me the result step by step now the fourth type is reflection prompt in this what we actually did is 
first we pass the prompt and within that we ask AI or we told AI to reanalyze the answer first before giving the final output. So what it will do, it will first create the answer, then reanalyze that and then share the final output. Okay, now we'll discuss how we can write a killer prompt. To write a killer prompt, these are the five key elements. The first one is be specific. Then we have add context, specify the format, use examples and test and iterate. So in order to write a clear prompt to you, first thing is you must have to be specific that what actually you want and specify the format. Like these are the major two key elements for writing up a clear prompt. You have to be specified and you have to be know that what actually the output format should be. For example, tell me about marketing or this is just a simple prompt and this is one of the prompt which we can use to generate the output, whatever we needed. So act as a marketing strategist, create a content plan for a new fintech startup targeting Gen Z on Instagram and TikTok. So here you can see I have specified the format that I want output, something which will target Gen Z over Instagram and TikTok. Okay. Now we'll discuss some of the real world use cases. So code, YouTube, business, design. So for YouTube, say I want to generate a thumbnail for my YouTube video. So I have to be very specific that, hey, this is my YouTube video or for this particular YouTube video, generate a thumbnail like this. For business, I have to be very clear that I want my output to be a PPT or whatever, data analysis, anything. Design, say suppose a designer looking for creating a logo, but the logo should be best one, right? In order to create that, he must have to be pass a killer prompt to get the desired output code. We can write up the code and we can ask the AI to share the code which is optimized, right? So these are some real world use cases through which we can use in our daily life. So the future isn't about who has the best AI, it is about how we are talking to the AI. In my next video, I'll be building AI agents with the help of any tech. Yeah. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified. Thanks for watching.